Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Rockat's Kane 202 Amo, a funky looking little wireless mouse from Rockat that sports some pretty nifty features and will set you back around £90 or $90. This is a mouse that is capable of 50 hours of battery life, it uses a 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle and has some very nice design features that include eight programmable buttons you know, customizable with Rockat's Easy Shift software I and mean, you can technically have up to 16 different button presses as I said a maximum of 50 hours of battery life 16,000 DPI with a DPI switching button at the top and more and I'll include all the specs in the description below as well as links to see the official page and purchase his mouse if you're interested. I'm going to talk to you about my experience with the mouse so far, what I've thought of it and what I like about it. That's a really nice looking little diddy mouse that I'm going to be unboxing here and showing off in its glory but I have been using it for work and for gaming and it struck me for a number of different reasons and I often have mixed feelings about Rockout products, but this one's really nice. Now this is the 202 variant, so there is also a 200 variant, which is a black version. So if you're not a fan of the white one and you're worried about it getting dirty or looking mucky, then there's always the option of the black one. However, I do think the white one is pretty nifty. It also comes with a durable, dirt-resistant, hyper-anti-wear coating, and that's Rockat's wording, which basically results in this kind of smooth but tactile, rubber-like resistant finish, and it's quite nice in the hand. You'll also see this like brushed aluminium style plate in the middle near the mouse wheel and just a really nice feel. I will note that it does feel pretty small in the hand. It's not a large mouse by any means, but it's not tiny either. It does have some satisfying clicks from the mouse button from the Titan switches that are built in, and it offers a really fast response time according to all the gumph. But you'll see all the easy access thumb buttons on the side and basically a very simple setup. It doesn't have what I would prefer as a little thumb rest there but it does fit nicely in the hand. I've actually been really enjoying the use of this. Another satisfying feature is the mouse wheel which is actually very quiet if you roll it gently. Uh, it does give a tactile response but it isn't too aggressive. There are no left and right clicks unfortunately. However, mostly otherwise, the features are very comparable and the design to other mice that I've tested recently are sure more expensive. I kind of likened it to the Razer Basilisk Ultimate and you'll see why in a minute, although this doesn't have quite as many features as that one. You will note there are a number of nifty things to it. Not least of which is the awesome RGB lighting. This is under some pretty heavy lighting for the camera and you can still see the RGB. If your room's slightly darkened, you'll actually find the RGB lighting on the Rockat logo and the mouse wheel is very bright, incredibly bright actually. Now this is the reason I was comparing it with the Basilisk Ultimate, is it comes with this little dongle. Now this isn't a charging dock in the same way the Basilisk Ultimate has, but it is like a extender where you can plug in the little wireless dongle and then you can plug in the cable to the other end. So it comes with a micro USB cable, just slides in here. Obviously you can plug that cable from the PC into your mouse, but this is another way of setting it up. So you can plug that cable in there and then you can plug the dongle in, extend it and have it within the easy access on your desk. The base of this little unit is also rubberized so it'll sit nicely on the desk, won't slide around or easily get lost which means that when you need to plug it in you can then pull the cable out the back, plug it into the mouse proper. That's a similar offering to what comes with the Razer Basilisk Ultimate so I'm going to do a video to compare those two side by side. If you're curious that's a lot more expensive mouse and it does have quite a few more features to it. However, I do think that the Rocket Kane 202 AMO is a very nice mouse indeed still. A much more affordable and perhaps a nicer looking mouse depending on your opinion. It doesn't have as many RGB lighting zones, there's only two here instead of something like 16 on the Basilisk Ultimate. But this still has multiple programmable buttons, DPI switching, 
and a really nice looking design. <laughs> Apologies for the amount of fluff on the mouse wheel. Believe it or not, this is a straight out of the box. Somehow it's already managed to pick it up. That's what you get for using a macro lens while capturing your footage. A close up, you can see that sort of middle panel there with this brushed aluminium styling to it. It's really hard to do justice to the finish on this. As I said, it's they've got this durable finish to it and you can really feel it in the hand. It says it's going to be dirt resistant and anti-wear, that coating that they've created. So it hopefully should mean that even with the white one, you should be able to carry on using it for a long time to come without it getting filthy. Here you can see the plugging in of the micro USB cable, really easy to do, no fiddling or faffing, and even for someone as clumsy as me. And some nice close ups of various angles of the mouse to show it off in all its glory. Now, this is similar to a previous Rocket mouse that I reviewed, the 120 AMO and I'll link to that in the description. That was the wired version. Again, was an affordable mouse, similar in style and design, except this one's wireless, so it's definitely a bonus device, preferable. And as I said, it puts out around 50 hours of battery life. One thing quirk I've found with the wireless functionality is, usually if you have a wireless mouse, you turn your PC on, you wiggle the mouse, it brings your PC back to life and the mouse, but actually it doesn't, do that with this one you have to press one of the left or right buttons in order to activate it which is a bit unusual but i think that's a bonus because it means that it's gone well to sleep and it's not going to be using the battery when you don't want it to in a minute i'm going to show you the rocket swarm software and the customization that you can do there you can set various levels of dpi that you can switch between by pressing through these obviously you can't cycle up and down but you can cycle up and through them and you could, in theory, assign some of the other buttons to then customize it. As I said, it also has the Easy Shift software, which if you don't know, essentially allows you to choose one button as an Easy Shift mode. So you press and hold that button, and then you can add a secondary functionality to the other buttons. And I'll show you that here. So this is the Rocket Swarm software. You'll note for some reason it comes up as the Kane 200 AMO in the software, probably because the 202 is just a color variant. And you can see that you can adjust all sorts of things, double click speed, pointer speed, and you'll see here the DPI switcher. As you press that DPI switching button on the mouse, it switches between them on the software, and you'll note there's a slight delay as it updates because it is in wireless mode at the moment. And you can set it to a maximum of 16,000, which is really high, ridiculously high in fact. So it's worth adjusting that down a bit in my personal opinion, somewhere around 3,000 is usually good. You can also calibrate the mouse depending on your surface. You can go into a calibration system and then move the mouse around and try and catch the little pointer to automatically set it to the right level. Then we go into button assignment and you can see from here you can adjust the eight different buttons on the mouse and you'll see where they are and where they're numbered and you'll see the standard buttons and you can adjust through all sorts of things there and then on the right hand side you can see the easy shift functionality you can also choose from various different presets so for example you can set for the precision preset and you'll see Number seven, then the rear thumb button is then assigned as an easy shift button, and you can then choose to activate certain things. So, for example, I've set it here easy shift and then left click just opens a folder on my desktop to give me easy access to the videos that I'm editing, and it was just a test. But you can do other things, for example, you could set another button to a specific macro so you could record macros that you want to use in game and then set them up. And that's a really nice functionality, and it's a really cool option within Rocket software that comes with the keyboards and mice as well. So, you can do a variety of different things you can either see the status of the battery and how long it's got left. So even at 80% of the battery is still got 32 hours left. You can also adjust things like the lift off control at distance it lifts off from your desk before it stops responding and you can adjust that. There's so many different settings within this software. I really think the uh, rocket mice are probably undervalued considering the amount of adjustment you can make within the software. Not only are they comfortable and capable mice, they also have plenty of customization options. 
Hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos, as well as taking a look in the description for the links and information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.